short time ago, the landlord in Queens, who cops say confessed to stabbing to death two tenants and his girlfriend, made his first court appearance. 54-year-old David Daniel is charged with murder. So why did he do it? I would just use reporter Joe Torres is live at the criminal court at Kew Gardens with some possible answers. Joe? Today, within the last hour here at Queens Criminal Court in Kew Gardens, that arraignment for David Daniel charged with three counts of first-degree murder following the stabbing deaths of three people inside his home yesterday in St. Albans. And today, as he left the station house and came here to the courthouse, he offered a brief explanation. David Daniel walked out of the 113th police precinct in Queens 18 hours after he walked into the station house to surrender. Investigators charged him with fatally stabbing three people Tuesday morning. Today, when reporters asked him why, he said, A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure said the 54 year old, who moments later added, peer pressure. That explanation didn't provide any comfort to Alan Nelson, who lives just a few houses away from the crime scene. We don't know, really know what happened. It's just a sad thing. You know, six months ago, the young lady got killed down the street by the park, got shot in the house. I mean, got shot in the head in the park. About 7.15 Tuesday morning, officers arrived at Daniel's house on Milburn Street in St. Albans. They came here because minutes earlier, David Daniel told a lieutenant at the precinct he did something bad. The officers found three people dead in the home, all of them stabbed multiple times. I, I don't know. I mean, there's no excuse. That's, that's all I can say. There's no excuse. Regarding the victims, police say Daniel indicated he was having problems with his girlfriend. Police found the 51-year-old woman in an upstairs bedroom. A rent dispute apparently sparked the killing of a couple in a basement bedroom. Those tenants were a 57-year-old man and a 55-year-old woman. But that's stupid. That's stupid. I mean, because you could take them to court and have them evicted, you know, collect your money or whatever. So it's probably more to that. You, you, you never know. You know what I'm saying? When Mr. Daniel walked into the 113th precinct yesterday, he had no blood on his clothes. He was not disheveled in any sort of way. He spoke to the lieutenant in a calm manner, was emotionless, a complete lack of emotion. Well, that peaceful serenity will now face a true test as he deals with the possibility of life behind bars. His next court appearance here in Queens, scheduled for November 17th.